Welcome to the Oxbow. Medieval Dynasty co-op mode is officially released. Uh, one quick note. I couldn't find it to start with, and it's because I was still in the beta. So go to your Steam page, right-click on the game, scroll down, find properties, go to properties, click betas. Make sure you're not in a beta. Make sure you're on none. And then when you load the game, you'll have new game, and then I'll ask you if you want to. We'll go through the steps in a second. Here's what's added, though. Uh, but yeah, just make sure you're not in a beta. Make sure you're on none. And then when you load the game, you should see it. Uh, and if you don't, restart Steam and see if that does it. Added co-op mode, Oxbow exclusive. New map, the Oxbow. New storyline, Oxbow exclusive. New side quest, Oxbow exclusive. New generic quest, Oxbow exclusive. Character creator, Oxbow exclusive. We can create our own character. I look forward to this. I cannot wait. Playable female character, Oxbow exclusive. Female player's husband can take care of an infant, Oxbow exclusive. Did I miss one? No, I didn't miss one. Ability to romance and marry men as a female character, Oxbow exclusive. New flirting dialogue lines, Oxbow exclusive. New gifts from men, Oxbow, Oxbow exclusive. So most of these are going to be exclusive to Oxbow, which it makes sense because they would have to rebuild the entire game um, and add all the extra stuff in the original. But I think it's great that you can still play solo on the Oxbow, by the way. You don't have to play co-op. Uh, we're going to walk through the steps of that in just a second. We're going to go through the additions, not the fixes. We're just going to go through the additions real quick. And then we'll walk through how to actually set up your game, co-op, single player, and then we'll go look around the map. New gifts for men, exclusive. Notice board, quest in the main village in Oxbow, exclusive. So there's a notice board for a quest board. That's kind of neat. That's, that's really cool, actually. I, I like that idea. Uh, chat accessible by default under the Y key on the keyboard in the emote menu. Nice. Okay, so if you hit Y, you can go. There's an in-game chat. If you're not doing like, if you're not chatting with somebody, if you if you're not doing voiceover, that's pretty cool. Uh, emotes. So there's emotes you can use in game now. That's kind of cool. Uh, HUD set, and that that doesn't say exclusive. So I don't know. We're gonna look in a minute to see if you can play on the old map co-op. I'm I'm curious about that. I haven't looked yet. So uh, HUD settings with the ability to toggle parts of the UI. Ooh, that's kind of neat. Okay, giving us giving us the ability to turn some of the UI off is kind of cool, actually. I like that. 21 new songs, also specific for villagers. Oh, that's pretty sweet. Um, Elena does a fantastic job. I'm pretty sure she did the music. I'll, I'll have to look and double check, but I'm pretty sure she's done the music for a lot of the Dynasty games. Wild West, and Goku, um, most of Medieval, I'm pretty sure. Uh, and Elena does a fantastic job on the music. So Elena Ungarova, brilliant composer, does a fantastic job on all the music. Uh, wonderful stuff. 17 new notification sounds, UI sounds, and animations. NPCs chatter with audio during gameplay. Facial expressions for NPCs. Ooh, facial expressions, huh? All right. L lots of detail there. Lip sync for NPCs. Over 400 new NPC names. Over 50 new NPC presents. Cradle for infants and houses. Oh, that's kind of cool. Okay, good. 42 new furniture decorations. Four, four new gates. Five new fences. Three new houses decorations. Three new house decorations. Three tablecloths. Three tablecloths as table decoration. Effects for building and destroying fences. Effects for building and destroying gates. Effects for building and destroying furniture. Effects for building and destroying building modules. Listen mechanic for dialogues and co-op. Oxbow exclusive. Reading letters and notes from mechanic. Uh, re reading letters and notes mechanic. Oxbow exclusive. Unique basic dialogue trees for every resident of the Oxbow. Oxbow exclusive. Lots of fix. Lots of updates. Um, and I'm guessing they, they, from the beta to now, they've probably done a lot of changes and fixes on this. I do want to point out though, they did release a new roadmap for this with this post on Steam and you can find this post on Steam. I'll leave a link down below, uh, to the Steam page for the game. That way you can go find this yourself and check all this out, but there is a new roadmap. Um, so co-op update for Steam in parentheses, specifically for Steam 2023 quarter four, which we've gotten now. Co-op update for consoles and other platforms, quarter one or quarter two of 2024. Looks like it's probably going to be the latter part of quarter one, possibly, for consoles. And I'm guessing a lot of that probably is finishing it up and then waiting on Sony and Microsoft to approve it to be updated on the consoles. Because a lot of that's what that, what, what that takes. So uh, I'm assuming they're waiting on the consoles to, to approve the update and then push out the final patch for it, too. Um, 2024 at some point, there's no date yet, uh, is armor, armors, crest, shields, and more. So there's going to be more battle, it looks like, toward the maybe the end of 2024, I would assume. And then 24 uh, to tw slash 2024 slash 25 is a question mark, so we'll see. Uh, but there you go. There is a rundown of that. 
Um, let's let's go get into the game. The music is quite loud. I clicked back on the game, so my apologies. Okay, so when you when you load up the game, you have this beautiful new start menu. Um, this is actually way different, I think. It's been a while since I've done Medieval Dynasty, so bear with me. I'm pretty sure this is a different start menu, but I love this, actually. This is fantastic. All right, so you can go load game, and you can see we've got all of our old saves here, but we're not going to do any of that. You can join a game, and you just enter a session code. How do you get the session code? Well, you go new game, and then you can choose the valley. Mode, you just follow the storyline, the story of Ray Samir and his descendants, single player only, the original game mode. Okay, so you can't do multiplayer in the valley. Okay. The Oxbow, in this mode, you'll be able to create your own custom characters, single player and co-op, up to four players. Some mechanics may differ from the original game mode. Ooh, some mechanics. So I'm going to have to learn new mechanics, too. That's fantastic. I like that. All right, so we're going to click on the Oxbow, and then you can click solo. You can go play the Oxbow solo and, and have it just like the original, just play in solo. Your solo gameplay can be turned into a co-op session without losing your progress if you wish to invite friends and play together. So how do you like that? You can start solo, and then if you have a friend that wants to join you, you can just load that game as a co-op mode, and then here's where the here's where the code gets. This is super easy to join and and make a co-op mode. By the way, this is kind of what Ranch Simulator does. So you click co-op. It's the Oxbow co-op. You just send a session code. That's it. You can go down here. You can hit copy. It says copied. Other players need this code to join your game. You can send that to whichever players you want, however you want to send it, uh, and that's it. So that's pretty neat. All right, we're going to go back. We're going to jump into solo mode here, and we're going to start game. When we first load up the game, we have a character creation screen. You can pick from lots of different options here. This is fantastic. I'm going to go with something like that, and then we can go uh, gender male. Yep, all right, complexion. We're going to drop that down a bit because I am slightly pale. I have the LED tan going on. Uh, voice type. Follow me. Will you marry me? Oh, wait, 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 wait. Voice type. Does that mean we actually have Follow me. dialogue Hello. and voiceovers? That's fantastic. Okay. Hello. Thank you. Hello. Will you marry me? I like that one. Face. Okay, we can... Oh, there's several options here. This is great. All right, so let's walk through option one, option two, option three, option four, option five, option six. I have kind of a gigantic nose, so we're going to go with something like that. And I kind of have like the caveman eyebrow. Uh, so we're going to go with something like that. Eyes. Um mediocre i, I kind of have the the resting angry face so my nose is not quite that big though let's go with something that's, that's kind of large let's go with something like that okay uh mouth let's do uh something like that one ears no i have i have very large ears they, they don't have ears big enough for me on here i don't think okay we'll go with that and then eyes we're gonna go oh god look at all these different um, different types of things here. Okay, so we got color for the iris. Mine are like a, a weird brownish gray color, something like that. Okay. Oh, ooh, that's cool. Hetero hetero heterochromia. That's where your pupils are two different colors, by the way, if you're wondering. So, we can do something like that. Oh, that's pretty sweet, actually. Yeah, we're going to give ourselves one that's bad. I just like the idea of it. I'm, this is probably not going to be my character. I'll probably create something totally different for our Friday night multiplayer streams, which I will be streaming this on Friday nights at around 6 p.m. Central Time, 7 p.m. Eastern, if you're going to come hang out. Me and Bone will be playing it. Battery's going to be joining us. I don't know if he's going to be streaming it the first night or not, but he's going to be joining us when he can. He may be streaming it. I don't know. Uh, but Battery H over on Twitch. I'll leave links down below for Bone's channel and Battery's channel. Go check them out. Uh, let's see. Moles. Moly, 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 moly. Oh, yeah. Check it out. Oh, wow, okay. I didn't see them to start with. They're so subtle. They're so subtle. And you can rotate your character. Look at the hair movement. That actually looks pretty good. Yeah, that actually looks pretty sweet. Oh, man, that's so cool. All right. Uh, moles, none, I guess. And then you can do intensity. You can do freckles. Um, I am not... I don't have a lot of freckles. Let's Let's do, like... One? No, one is nothing. Okay, so let's do something like that. That'll work. Just some, a few freckles here and there. All right, scars. You can choose different scars. And I would imagine in this time period, if you've ever fought anybody, you're going to have some scars somewhere. I don't know about... Oh, you know what? That one's actually perfect. Because we have lost our... That one doesn't make sense. Those don't... That one makes sense right there because our eyes bad. That's great, actually. All right, intensity, we can... Take the scar down some, but we don't want to. We want it to be pretty intense. Uh, oh, you can flip it. Okay, so let's go back to this one then, and then just flip that. 
That's good. That's just on our eye. That's great. Okay, cool. Uh, we can make it slightly less intense, like it's really old, and it's starting to heal, or we can leave it pretty bad. Let's make it like that, I think. All right, cool. Uh, and then what is this? Uh, base color, general. This, oh, okay, that's, that's hair. Uh, we want, yeah, we want dark hair. Uh, hair type. That's so neat. All right, we're gonna go. We're gonna go with a uh, Ragnar late late years Ragnar look. I think eyebrows type. I don't know why we're going like Viking look with this, but it just it's the way it happens. Facial hair, yes. Oh god, that looked funny with just the mustache. Probably gonna go full beard. Yep, there we go. Color, that's fine. All right. Uh, so we've got change, and you can do all this with the keyboard if you want. We're gonna go accept. Yeah, do some mess. Let's go. Oh man. Oh, we start in a house. Look at the difference. Oh my god, a clean slate waking up from a nightmare. Uh, everything's still loading in, so bear with me a second here. Oh, this is so nice. I love the divider between the room. Oh my goodness, what a difference. Check out the little box of stuff right here. The beds are the same. Oh man, I've missed this game so much. I've missed this game so very much. Check out this place. We're not going to do any of the story. I'm not going to talk to anybody. I just wanted to... <laughs> oh my god. Uh, I've missed this game. Oh my... How do I hide UI? Yeah, we're gonna hide the UI because we don't want to see any of that. Look at all this. Look, there's a book right here. We didn't have books before. Oh man, this is so nice. Yeah, so this is a quick look over Oxbow if you haven't got to play it yet or if you're on the fence about getting Medieval Dynasty still for some reason. You're crazy. Check that out. There's a there's a stream right here. It's a slight little brit. Oh my goodness, that's cool. Look at that. Double stairs, stairs in the middle. Wonder if we can build like this. I really hope so, because this is just wonderfully fantastic. Oh, hello. Sorry, I didn't mean to like break into your home here. All right, let's go take a look around. Uh, let me see if I can get a better view here. We can almost get a good view. Maybe we can get a good view from somewhere. Um, so I know this is this is this is probably the Oxbow. Let's pull up the map. This is oh not the Oxbow. Uh, Pies Piestovia. I'm, I'm butchering that, but Piestovia. All right, so we got As Astoya, uh, Skaku, Ska, uh, Ska, Skalki. I'm trying. I'm terrible at these names. Skalki. Uh, remove waypoint. There we go. Uh, Klonika. And then there's another town over here that's not labeled. That one's not either. I'm guessing these are going to be other towns. We're not going to we're not going to look at every town. I just want to show off the the differences. Oh, you know what? You know what I just realized? There's different combination of fence here. There's wrought iron or iron fencing between stone pillars. Oh, it's a birdhouse. Oh my god, a pigeon house. Could we do we have a pigeon house in the in the single player? We might have. I don't remember. It's been so long. This looks so incredibly good though. Check this out. We definitely didn't have this stuff laying around. I think this is for the the windmill, probably though. Look at this. Birds landed on top of the roof and stuff. Oh, this is so awesome. I don't remember clotheslines being out, but they might have been. I love the fact that we get this little stream running through right here. Looks like we can walk around. Oh, they they did it. They put it in the outhouses. I love it. They put in the outhouses. It's fantastic. Keep going. Oh, I wonder if we're actually going to be able to use a little wagon with a with a wheel now. I love that little archway. I wonder if we can build those. We probably can. I'm not even going to go... I don't even want to go look. I don't want to spoil it for everybody, but I kind of want to show off what you can do now differently. Welcome to the Oxbow, folks. So just after looking around Oxbow, Piastovia, uh, I've run up on a village here that looks like a rundown uh, set of buildings and houses and stuff. I don't know what we can do with these. Maybe there's a quest for this or something. I'm not sure, but uh, there's actually stuff in the crates, which is kind of cool. Wait a minute. Did that actually open? Hang on. Oh, it did. Okay. It was laid on its side. That was kind of neat. Uh, let's hop down and check this. That's an awkward place for the stairs, isn't it? 
This goes up to a third story. Oh my god, can we actually build multiple layers? That'd be great. There's a bottle here? A couple of bottles, looks like. Um, yeah, can we actually build multiple story houses? That would be fantastic. Barns. Oh, is this a barn? This is a barn, and there's a multiple layer to it. That is sweet. It looks like we can do the same on this side. Go up over here too. A little tricky. There's some there's some stuff laying around you can collect. Of course, the loot in this game has always been great. Um, yeah. All right. So that is the uh, the village that's closest to Pia, Piastovia, which is right there, and you can see the gigantic fence. All right. Let's check out and see what we can make now. Buildings. So we got houses. We got simple small house, simple simple house, and then house again. Extractions. Is there anything different? There's a whale. There's a herbalist hut. One and two. Looks like all that's about the same. Uh, what is this? Hang on. Clay pits. All right. There we go. There is a road right up here. Uh, fencing. So there's fences and gates, and there is new fencing apparently. So stone and iron. Iron fence with stone pillars. That's nice. Plank fence, log fence. All right. Sweet gates. We have the same thing. There's iron gates now, which is really neat. Plank gates, log gates. Okay. Um, hang on. Let me turn. Uh, let's see. Go this way, I guess. Let me get started across the bridge here. I'm trying to do this while I'm walking so we're not just standing still. There we go. Furniture and decorations. Lots of new stuff, probably. Maybe not lots, but there's some. Uh, yeah, all that looks about the same. Seats and tables, that looks about the same. So we got chairs here. Oh, nope. There's log chairs now. Uh, that's pretty sweet. Benches. Oh, there's some different style benches in here now. That's pretty sweet, too. Log tables. That one's different. That's a new one. All right. Then we got some flower pots and tre 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 trestle tres uh, trellises. There we go. Yeah, so we can make trellises now, which is pretty sweet. Uh, I don't think we could make this rectangle flower pot before. That's pretty sweet, too. There's lots of really new stuff in here, guys. This is fantastic. Uh, lumberjack workstation, hunting hunter workstation, laundry workstation. Oh, that's cool. Farming workstations. Yeah, so there's different... Composting bin. Hey, wait, we can put a separate composting bin now? Oh, man. Okay, so there's lots of lots of stuff that's been changed. Hay piles. Oh, wow. Laundry workstations. Check that out. Sweet. Uh, so we got simple lumber station. We got firewood piles. Oh, man, that's so cool. How about this? We got leather tanning station, goat skin tanning, wolf skin, bear skin, and archery target. I started to walk off the... The map there. There we go. We'll let the bridge keep us up. All right. And then we have miscellaneous. I'm curious to see what's it. Scarecrow, snowman. Could we build the dovecote before? Bell post? I don't know what the bell post does. Privy. It's an outhouse. We know what it is. And a cart. Oh, we can build carts now, guys. We're stuck on the sun. Oh, my goodness. We can build carts. I'm super happy about that. All right. All this is just basic stuff here. This is... um. Uh, this this is like the basic sorry it's not basics of it it's the basics with the addition of all the new stuff too which is fantastic all right so standing fire bowl that's kind of sweet and then you got the lantern and the torch like you had before but you got a brazier which I was trying to think of the name of when I saw it in town it's a brazier uh, and then traps we got a rat trap we got a bird trap we got a we got nets yeah so that's all the same campfire stuff yeah all that's the same too wonderfully done wonderfully done. Render cube, you have outdone yourselves once again. Uh, looks like the road only has one option. Buildings. I think all this is going to be about the same. Hunting, husbandry, production. Let's see what's in the production buildings now. Because we did see laundry. Looks like all that's the same. Storages, food storage, resource storage. Yep, all that's the same. Services, market stall, and builder's hut. Okay. Animal husbandry, all that's the same, I think. Star. Yeah, all that's the same. Okay. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Oh, wait, 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 wait. A donkey shelter. Yeah, that's right. They gave us the donkey shelter separate at some point. Okay. Farming. That's the same. There's a farm shed now. I forgot they they, they changed that in medieval uh, whatever update it was in the single player stuff. So we got the windmill, and then we got the orchards, and we got fields. Okay. All that's the same. Hunting. So we got hunting one and two, fishing one and two. That's the same. Woodshed one and two, excavation, mine, well. Herbalist huts, and then houses. Okay, so that's pretty much it for the menus. Um, 
Let me know in the comments below what you think about the updates to the game. Are you looking forward to it? I know I am because I am going to be playing this on Friday nights, every Friday night, hopefully for a while. Man, this looks good. Is there a tent outside over here? We're going to cross the water here. I think we're... I think, I think we're dying or something here. Hang on. Oh no, we're just out of energy. Okay. All right. The UI looks pretty good. We're gonna we're gonna go through and and check out the, uh, the UI changes here in a second. Oh, check this out. Yeah, there's a place right outside here that you can get some, maybe get a an axe, uh, some basic tools, some logs, right away. Uh, from some rundown rundown tents. It looks like water hydration is crucial to the wilderness. Okay. Yeah. Close. Yeah, I know we're we're getting low on low on water here. Oh man, back to the grind collecting resources. I cannot wait. This is gonna be fantastic. Uh, let me know what you guys think down below in the comments about the new map, the new setup, and all that. I'm curious to hear your thoughts. I want to go see what this is. Is this a drain? This might be a drain. Yeah, let me know what you think down in the comments below about all the new stuff. We can drink water straight out of here, so that's good. Boom, there we go. Oh, check that out. It is. It's a drain out of town. That is pretty sweet. So that little that little water reservoir we had running through town there comes out right there. I'm guessing we can collect. Yeah, collect straw. Oh, and this is wonderfully great here. I see another town over there. I think that's that's not the one I went to earlier. Man, this is super nice. Yeah, we're not gonna go around the whole place, um, but that is gonna do it uh, for this. Join me on Friday nights for some multiplayer action, playing co-op with Bone and Battery coming out with us i appreciate you for watching let me know what you think about the new maps have you played did you do the beta how much do you know about the game already uh I don't, i'm not going to be getting into this until friday nights so come join me friday night 6 p.m central 7 p.m eastern time uh every friday unless otherwise noted multiplayer co-op for medieval dynasty on the oxbow i uh, honestly am just in awe i can't wait to get back to this thank you guys for watching i appreciate you i'll catch you next time have a great morning afternoon night wherever you are later folks